Awesome. Okay, I'm going to call this session of uh, the WSPIS business meeting to order. Um, really quickly, um, I'm going to run through a couple announcements. Uh, the announcement specifically relating to business and doing that, I will make after we complete the site selection portion of what we're doing. Um, but general stuff for everyone to know, uh, there is Wi-Fi in the room. Uh, there is a sign at the back with the information about that Wi-Fi because I don't know where the piece of paper that I had the information written on went. But there's Wi-Fi and there's a piece of paper back there that tells you how to access it. Um, there is coffee and tea in the back. Thank you. Thank you so you're welcome. I don't think I really had anything to do with that, but you're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, all the other stuff is specifically related to business other than um, if you are, uh, I normally make this motion at the end of, or motion, this announcement at the end of everything, but if you are here simply for the site selection portion and then we'll be leaving, please make sure uh, when you leave to look around under your chair, grab any papers, um, any empty cups to bring to the back and generally, you know, clean up after yourselves because I'm not your mom <laughs> and nor is Terry. Uh, the information about the Wi-Fi is on the yellow piece of paper. Uh, that is being brought to the back. That's what to look for. Um, okay, at this time, I think he's to oh, are you wanting to make your point of order now? Uh, well, right, right now we're dealing with site selection. Could I request that you wait until we move into the business section? Or if you really want to make it now, you of course have that prerogative. Okay, um, I will recognize the gentleman at the podium. Mixed chairperson, Nick, Nicholas White, um, pronouns uh, he, him. Um, I see that a piece of paper has been distributed at this meeting uh, with regard to one of the resolutions that is on the order paper. I don't recall this ever happening before at a World Science Fiction Society business meeting. Um, the proposers of the amendment to which this document uh, objects were not given a right of reply. I would be interested to know if this is going to become standard procedure for business meetings in the future, because if so, I think a lot of printers are going to be very busy at future business meetings. Thank you. Um, the chair cannot rule on the hypothetical question about whether or not something will become standard procedure. So I'm going to rule your point of order as not substantive and um, not sustained. Okay, at this time, I would like to recognize the tellers of the 2021 site selection. Yes, there you are. Uh, you'll come up to the podium microphone. Oh, I'm stuck. Chairpersons, um, assembly. Uh, I am Johan Anglemark. I was the area head for, or I am the area head for this year's site selection. And the selection is over, finished yesterday at four o'clock, and we have counted the votes. So we don't have anything, a slide for them now. Okay, I will run them through. DC in 2021 received 798 votes. None of the above received 18 votes. Minneapolis in 73, three votes. <laughs> Tampere 2032 in 2021, <laughs> three votes. Peggy Ray's house, two votes. Rapid City, South Dakota, Two votes. Serpus 2010, two votes. Any country that will let me in, <laughs> one vote. Anywhere not in the United States, one vote. Beach City, one vote. Boston in 2020 Christmas, one vote. Free Hong Kong, one vote. Thames, Alaska, one vote. Helen's Pool Cabana, 
one vote. <laughs> I-5 in 05, one vote. James Bacon's living room, <laughs> one vote. Laconia capital city, Laconia empire, one vote. Malmö, Sweden, one vote. Ottawa, one vote. Port Stanley, Falklands, one vote. Radcon in 2002, one vote. Then there were 36 no preferences, and which makes the total number of valid votes 878, and the number of votes with a preference 842. Four to 422 was required to win in the first round, which means that DC in 2021 with 798 votes was a clear winner in the first round and no more rounds were counted. Um, at this time, I would like to ask for unanimous consent to thank the tellers for their work and order them to destroy the ballots. So moved. Well, I was asking for unanimous consent, so I will phrase very carefully. Are there any objections? Nobody say anything. Awesome. <laughs> Hearing no objections, it is done. And I would like to invite the uh, 2021 uh, DC Worldcon to come up to the front. Right. You have 15 minutes. Short, uh, short suckers. Um, all right. As with everything, uh, uh, to we to liven up a business meeting, we are going to start by uh, 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 by stripping. So we. Uh, <laughs> so we are. Uh, this is our uh, t-shirt design. Uh, we are very happy to say that it is based uh, on basically uh, it is uh, uh, based on the design of the uh, city of Washington DC flag. So um, all right, as you can see, the name of our convention will be Discon Three. We will be taking place at the Marriott Wardman Park from August 25th to the 29th in 2021, and um, our website, which is mostly live at this point, uh, will be www.discon3.org. Uh, yeah, I think we picked up every other possible iteration of the of Roman numeral three also, so they should all point to the same place. That we can Yes. Uh, uh, next slide, please. Uh, here are your fearless leaders. Uh, my name is Colette Fizard. Um, I will be co-chair, and this is uh, Bill Lawhorn. Uh, and we will uh, be the chair, uh, the co-chairs of uh, Discon Three. Uh, Slide. So, as you can see, we have a couple of visuals from Mary, the Marriott Wardman Park. You'll see there is some green space around there, and with the full run of house for the convention, plus shoulder nights on both sides of the convention, and our 165 a night single through quad, which we've talked about. Um, we are in well suited in order to host and do everything in basically one location. We do have the overflow hotel at the Omni Shoreham and people, people here will be interested to know that we intend to r run the business meeting at the Omni Shoreham so that we don't have to change the room around. Um, and you'll have it. And of course, if we, for making you cross the street, we do plan to have some coffee setups for you. We are happy to note that uh, the Omni Shoreham is across uh, a single side street with a crosswalk uh, from the Marriott Wardman Park. So the getting between, so for the activities that we will have in the Omni, uh, those will be, you know, very easy to get to. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember. All right, I think we go, oh, uh, slide please. Uh, we would like to introduce our mascot, DC. Um, he is our uh, friendly robot who is going to be your guide through the cosmos uh, and uh, show you, you know, help you, tell you everything about uh, the, um, 
DISCON 3. Uh, we are very, very happy to be working uh, with uh, uh, Hugo Award finalist Maya Hato for this design, and we thank her uh, starting now and for the work that she has already agreed to uh, do for us over the next two years, so we're very excited about that. Um, all right. I believe that uh, we now get into our guests of honor. So for our author guest of honor, it is my great um, pleasure to announce Nancy Kress. Come on up, Nancy. We'll, we'll read your bio anyway. Um, uh, she is the author of 35 books, including 28 novels, four collections of short stories, and three books on writing. Her work has won six nebulas, two Hugos, a Sturgeon, the John, w, the John W. Campbell Memorial Award, and her most recent work is Terran Tomorrow, the conclusion of her Yesterday's Kin series. Like much of her work, this series contains genetic engineering. And Nancy's going to speak for a couple words, but before she does, I just want to say that having worked with her as a guest of honor at our local convention, you're not going to find a better person to be a guest of honor to talk to people and be there for them. She was amazing. So. I want to, I want to thank you. Although nobody told me that coming up here involves stripping, I didn't, I didn't realize this was part of the deal. Hey, um, you know. Being, being guest of honor at a Worldcon is an honor I never actually looked for. I went to my first Worldcon in 1981, and I wandered around starstruck and dazed, and now I'm kind of, of dazed again. And I want to thank all of you for this honor. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, our, our next guest, who is unfortunately not here, uh, Malka Alder, Alder, sorry, is a writer, aid worker, and socialist. Her science fiction political thriller, Inflamancy, was named one of the best books in 2016 by Kirkus, Book Riot, and The Washington Post, and is, short and is shortlisted for the 2019 Newcom Institute Literary Award. The sequel is Null State 2017 and State Tectonics 2018. She completed the Sentinel Cycle Trilogy, a finalist for the Hugo Best Series Award in 2018. She is the creator of the serial Nth Step Station, currently running on the serial box. And her short story collection, And Other Disasters, will come out in December 2019. And I will pass it back to Colette. And I believe, also I recall, uh, perhaps Nicholas White in the audience can confirm, I believe she's a Hugo finalist this year. Yeah, that's what I thought, I think, for best series, so. All right, our uh, next uh, special guest is, um, slide. You know, advanced slide, uh, is Cherie Renee Thomas. Uh, she is an award-winning sh short fiction writer, poet, and editor with fellowships and residencies from the Malay Colony of Arts, Breadloaf Environmental, VCCA, Cave Canem Production, and Smith College. Pretty impressive. Uh, her work is inspired by myth and folklore, natural science, and conjure. Her roots are in Memphis. Ha ah, ha, we got to her first. <laughs> <laughs> and, in, and in the genius uh, culture created in the Mississippi Delta. She is the author of Sleeping Under the Tree of Life, long listed for the 2016 Tip Tree Award, and honored with the public Publishers Weekly Starred Review and Shotgun Lullabies. Described as a, quote, revelation, re revelatory work like Jean Toomer's Cain. Her work is widely anthologized and her essays have appeared in the New York Times. Moving on to our editor guest of honor, uh, Tony Weisskopf, who is unfortunately not here but uh, is very honored um, by this as well. She succeeded Jim, Jim Bain as a publisher of Bain Books, a leading publisher of science fiction and fantasy in 2006, if after several years within the field already. And with Joseph Sherman, she compiled an anno annotated and definitive volume of subversion children's folklore, greasy, grimy gopher guts, <laughs> simulated monkey feet, chopped up, oh, um, published by August House. Weisskopf graduated from Oberlin College with a degree in anthropology. She is the mother of a delightful daughter and lives in a 100-year-old house with two cats, too many dogs, and just enough spears. 
She is interested in space science and is a participant in the Tennessee Valley Interstellar Workshop. So. All right. This next one, don't put it up just yet because I'm just going to make a couple introductory remarks. Um, so sit down, relax. It's going to take two minutes. <laughs> Um, this, uh, this, I've, I've completely dropped my notes, so now I'm going to have to, uh, to, you know, to, to, uh, anyway, uh, this one, uh, the, the our, our, our final guest of honor for right now is, with absolutely no disrespect to anybody that we have mentioned, it's a little bit of my personal favorite, simply because this person has done so much for fandom, has done so much, uh, for myself, Oh wait, we already passed it out. You know who it is. <laughs> ben Yellow. <laughs> I was just gonna let her keep going on. I'm laughing at myself, just so you know. <laughs> I invariably never know quite what to say because I, that's not part of the regular order of business in this <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am honored beyond belief. Um, many of you I've worked with for many years and hope to continue to do so. Um, being fan guest of honor for a world con is the highest tribute that this community can pay, and I feel incredibly humbled by it. I've looked at all of my predecessors and really wonder about being in their company, but I'm so honored to be there. And this will be, this is my 49th World Con, uh, DISCON 3 will be the 50th anniversary of my very first World Con, and I can think of, <laughs> I can think of no place I'd rather be, and thank you all for all the help you have given me through the years. Um, I'm here in a sense representing all of you, and thank you for making that possible. And that's what you do when you play to the home crowd. Um, <laughs> so we want to just a little thing before we move on. We absolutely 100% intend and will have an artist guest of honor. I'm pushing really hard on one particular thing, and Kled is being nice enough to let me shoot for the stars on this. We will have an artist guest of honor, do not worry. Um, I know there's been concerns sometimes, so just wanted to put that one out there. Well, yeah, I was about to say, it doesn't, okay, when we say shooting for the stars, it, all, it also includes the, you know, the bioengineering that Nancy talks about so much about. We're working on it. We're trying to bring him back. <laughs> That's why it's taking so long. So, um, yep, uh, and uh, we would like to go to the next slide where we are introducing our division head team as we have assembled them so far. Um, if you are in the room, if you could please stand up. Well, um, I don't think I need to read the slide, but we've got um, Rick Kowalczyk, uh, Head of Operations, Marguerite Smith, uh, Head of Outreach, Michael Nelson for Publications, Brian Nisbet for Member and Staff Services, all the way in the back hiding, nice try Randy, is Randy Shepard. And um, so we are very, very happy to have assembled this team. We are, uh, you know, uh, we are still looking for a couple of division heads. So uh, if you think you can, uh, so uh, we'll, be, we'll be reaching out to a couple folks, but if you see us trying to come up to you, don't immediately start to run. So we might just be saying hello. That's not true, run. <laughs> and as you'll see by our, our list there, we've decided to go really strange. We're not gonna have any program, we're going old school, no. <laughs> Don't right. have any cues then. <laughs> God, there's that, yes. <laughs> it's one way to not have cues. I'm not programming. All right, slide before they leave. All right, last thing, last thing. free t-shirts. If you were a friend, a, 
a patron or a benefactor of the bid, please go, while, while you don't normally need to go back to the site selection table, because if you voted, you're already set with your attending membership to DISCON 3, you get a t-shirt. So uh, please go back, check in at the site selection table. They will give you a voucher with the name and the size, and then you can take it over to the off-world booth and pick up your t-shirt. So. And uh, yes, and then uh, any question? Yes. Have we you we really do talk. A Mark Protection <laughs> Committee representative yet? At microphones. I can er, hear it. Thank you. Please repeat the question. Have you have have you appointed a Mark Protection Committee representative yet? We have not. We will we will do so by the end of the day. Okay. Um, does anybody? Do we do we take questions? Do we, have any time left? do we have any time left? Like ninety seconds. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you. All right. Uh, oh, one right there. Uh, hang on. Microphone. Red mic. Red mic. Okay. Yes. Uh, Sasquatch Nelson. Um, is there going to be any transportation for access folks up that hill from Metro? I can talk about that. So, the great thing about our facility is there's three ways to get in. You can go up the hill which we know is big. You can actually go to the right, which is the hill, if you go along the streets to the front entrance, is much more closer to the ADA requirements. But the great thing is, if you go down into the left, you can go down through by the loading docks, which is the entrance you use to go to the Omni Shoreham for stuff, and you don't actually ever have to go up a hill. You can catch elevators and escalators from there yeah. as well. Yeah. We will have those directions and hopefully some photo or maybe a little video tour to show you the different routes during the course of our year. And then uh, we will be at, the, at uh, the conversion tables, and then we are also doing our thank you party tonight in Martins, starting after the uh, Hugo's, after the Hugo ceremonies, where we will have a live Irish band. So we're very excited about that. Thank you all very much, and we, lo we look forward to bringing a great world con to DC.